Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my Florida drive-by, um, August, you know, September 18th, 2015 right now. Uh, it's about 11.35 and I'm um, cruising on the I-75 going northbound. I'm going to be heading to Bradenton, Florida in a few minutes here. subject and I just wanted to bring up what I think is the best 1911 made. Uh, that's a difficult question and you know what I'm just going to do is compare it in this way. I'm going to go through the various 1911s I've had and then we're going to work up to the last 1911 that I bought. That is the best one I think made. Then you tell me. All right. Uh, Springfield Armory, compact, ultra loaded, fantastic gun, small, very accurate. Uh, problem is being kind of small. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't handle the recoil very well at you know longer distances like uh, 50 feet, 50 uh, yeah 50 feet. Uh, the uh, Kimbers, great guns. A little overhyped for what they charge for, for the features they have. They, they do look nice, however. Uh, Smith & Wesson, great guns. Uh, the Rugers, great guns. Six great guns. Uh, I think it's that other one, the Rock Island Armory, makes a really cheap 1911, which is great. And they all fire the good guns. Get to the higher end ones. Uh, Ed Brown. Uh, Brown's okay, but for what you're spending, you're not really getting as much quality as you think. So, that 25, 2900, uh, they kind of short chill it. You better move it, you're better off going in and getting a Nighthawk Custom if you're going to spend that and spend an extra 500. You'll get a superior gun. Wilson Combat, you pay for everything you get. You don't pay nothing, you're going to get a, a bland gun. So, uh, feature wise, they're pretty, pretty lackluster, they're poor in the feature. Unless you spend six thousand, you're not going to get really a high-end featured gun. Whereas you will with a Wilson Cat, well, you will, you will with a Nighthawk Custom, rather. Sorry. So, uh, moving up the ladder, handmade, handmade ones, hand-built one. There's tons of them. Like Chen makes one, and some other guy. But for me, I found the best 1911 made was the Prismatic Dueler by Arsenal Firearms. because this gun is completely built on a 5-axis machine on a billet of stainless steel. The gun is a dual barrel 45. Everything is just machined. When the slide has made it to the frame. You can't put it on another gun. You probably could, but it tolerates it probably make me off. Uh, the gun is expensive. You know, you're looking at 7500 6, and up. And that's just for a black one. Stainless would probably be about 7,500. If you put options on it, you could you could spend up to 20 grand on these guns. Very expensive guns. But the the greatest thing about them, and I have a few videos, taking the gun apart is a dream. Nothing is hard to take apart. Your, your barrel bushings, recoil springs come out easy. Your slide comes off like butter. Uh, very easy to work on it. It's just uh, it's just a dream. The gun is just so easy to work on. All the surfaces are neat. It's just like butter. If you oil it up real good, it's even smoother. The gun is fantastic. So I, you know, that what I would have to say that's the best of 1911 made, which is the Prismatic Dueler, just for all the features it has. It's not a double action, it's a 1911, but it's got a double trigger, it's got a, a double firing pin, it's got a double hammer, it's got a double uh, grip safety, it's, it's serrated and checkered, steel mainstream housing, uh, you know, uh, slide safety, it's got really beautiful rear adjustable sights, um, you know, and, and just the lines of the gun, the way they uh, polish it and they angle it, it's just so smooth. And it's compensated and ported. Which means there's two ports 
in each barrel in you know in uh, hat like halfway down the gun and slide and then the end of it is compensated. So you're getting porting and compensating, which is really helping the handling of the gun. It's pushing it down. It's a heavier gun. It's got a longer barrel and a longer slide. But you can do work. I you know, put lightning uh, cuts in it. You lighten up the trigger and stuff. Got some fancy grips. And it just... I mean, the gun just feels like a dream when you fire. It's right on. It's sending two bullets down, down, uh, down range. And they are accurate. They hit what they're shooting at. Took it out to the range. Didn't get any misfires. Once you get the hang of how to shooting it, um, the gun just shoots a thousand percent better. You know, when you first take it out, you've got to just, when I say better, I mean you've just got to figure out how to shoot it, you know, how to handle it just like with any gun. But, uh, man, the gun is, it's, you know, it's a great gun, low recoil, lower recoil than my Desert Eagle 50. And this is throwing two 230 grain bullets. So 460 grains of lead you're getting on that bullet, off that gun. And you've got, I would say, probably half to a third of the recoil of the Desert Eagle. It, it does not recoil that much. It's, you know, it's easy on your hands. Desert Eagle is a uh, much more formidable gun to shoot at the range or anywhere you're going to shoot it. So I am, you know, thinking which... You know, I'd like to maybe just have one high-end 1911, and probably it's going to be stuck in with the, uh, the Prismatic Dueler. I think that's uh, probably the best 1911 made for my, you know, for, for me. Other people might think it's something else, but, you know, if you could add all for it, sell a few of your higher end 19, uh, uh, you know, in 1911s, or sell a few 1911s, it's maybe worthwhile going to get. They're even coming out with a 10 millimeter, which has got to be awesome. But thanks a lot, and uh, that's my estimation of the best 1911 made up to this point. It may change next year. You may have a different opinion, but if money was no object, which 1911 would you buy? And like I say, I've had a few of them, and I didn't get rid of them because, you know, I, I didn't really, I really didn't uh, care for them that much. The ones I don't like, I, I get rid of them. Thanks a lot. Oh, get a little tired. And that is my um, drive-by on the bus 1911 made. Thank you. Bye.